to pencils its new style we are going to know about the past that is the history the more you know about the past the better prepared you are for the future let's travel together into the history first episode is the tanjore temple the tanjore temple where lord brihadeshwara is being kept and worshiped is bound for many mysteries i would like to provide a small detailing before i start stating the mysteries this temple was built by a chola king called raja raja chola it is believed that it was built for years and years to bring it to what it is now the approximate estimate is said to be 1000 years old a very recent celebration in a grandier manner happened for its 1000th year too now coming to the part of mysteries the first one underground passages all over the temple it is believed that the temple houses more than 100 underground passages few even connect to the raja raja chola's palace these were indeed believed to be used by important government associates and the king by himself it is said that the king used one of these to provide special abhishekam a kind of holy shah to the lord shiva the above channel is one such underground passage it is believed that the tunnels were made wide enough to let even a whole horse ride inside it the second one is huge capstone of the temple the biggest mystery of all in it is this the capstone has a weight of 80 tons considering the period when it was built it was probably impossible to lift such a huge stone and place it high in a height of 216 feet the only medium of strong carriers were elephants it seems completely mysterious to think how they made it happen just with elephants with the same capstone there comes the engineering marvel too it was built in such a manner that the shadow of the head capstone never hits the ground people renowned in the field of architecture still wonder this architectural marvel the third one paintings of the brihadeshwara temple the temple houses a lot of murals all the way inside it kind of the following believe it or not all these were made centuries ago using natural ingredients like flower petal extracts turmeric powder neem extracts and other natural coloring agents they still look visible and bright enough to get admired the fourth one is usage of granite stones for the temple construction the entire temple was built using granite stones the mystery does it lie in this but in close neighborhood as far as archaeological evidences suggest there were no traces of granite sources it is said 
all these were brought miles afar just using the only way of carriers the elephants bringing every bit of raw material from a far place continuously till the end is a big thing in those days the fifth one is cutting and carving of granite stones it is just like the above the granite stones are cut in the modern days even this looks hard and robust to get it broken a fact says it takes minimum of 1 hour and gallons of gallons of water to break these stones even these days imagine the period when this temple was built it would have needed extreme efforts to get them broken how did the cholas made it happen in their lifetime a very big mystery the last and the sixth one secret passages inside the temple you may wonder how this differs from the underground passages yes these served for totally different purpose than those these so called secret passages were used by the royals and their subordinates in their extreme emergencies like ambush enemy attack when the only way left for them to protect the nation is to survive first and face the rest later these passages were highly confidential that they were discovered only generations later for the commoners considering every mystery and every astonishing fact residing behind the step it can be said it's a wonder in itself this point may seem a bit irrelevant to this question but still i wish i can use this answering opportunity to convey this it is our onus to preserve highly cultural and architecturally marvelous structures like this let us make a visit to it if we can let us spread about structures like this as much as we can we marvel a lot of buildings and structure of modern times built in abroad but we hardly do know that we ourselves were great architects and builders structures like tanjore temple do stand as a living epitome for my claim so thank you and stay tuned for the next updates in our history